Welcome back. Well, a new year is upon us, bringing hope and aspirations for the future. Let's get you a psychic energy prediction for 2019. To unpack energy readings, we're joined in studio by international clairvoyant medium Catherine Valdelfari. Catherine is an international clairvoyant medium who connects with the energy of individuals while taking into account the influence of astrology and numerology. She's also a psychic medium who takes a broad approach to provide accurate predictions and guidance. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us. Now, what kind of energy shift can we expect as we move out of 2018 into 2019? Okay, um, so tw 2018 was a challenging year for many people. There were many astrological movements, um, solar eclipses, retrograde movements um, that caused a lot of disruption for us. It was a fragile year and chaotic and for some people very dramatic. So that 2018 ended as an 18 year cycle in astrology. So whatever we began in the year 2000, the seeds we planted then, we had an opportunity to end those, that cycle in 2018. But endings are always difficult. So December saw the final end. So November 30th to the 6th of December was a bit disruptive with some endings. Truths came out to the fore, some horrible truths, shocking truth. And again, at the, at, at the full moon on the 22nd of December, we had you know, things coming to the surface to be cleared away. So some people even severed family connections, you know, maybe people lost their jobs, that kind of thing. And it was a bit uncomfortable, but it's a paving the way for a whole new cycle in 2019. So this is an exciting new chapter for us. It's a big shift, especially since we've started the year, with, you know, it's a new moon today. Um, it's going to be a, a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse tomorrow in Capricorn. So that means the ideas that we have with your CEOs, individuals, whatever you plan to do this year can really happen. We have that practical earth energy of Capricorn and, and we, um, Uranus goes direct as well tomorrow. So that's all about breaking barriers. So we're going to have you know, great new energy and optimism for Well, I'm glad you mentioned Capricorn, because I am. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a good sign. Now, what can we expect at the start of 2019? Okay. Um, so we're very optimistic at the moment due to the new moon. Um, we've also got a solar um, ecl uh, eclipse in um, Leo on the, I think it's the 21st of January, and it's going to be the last time that it's in Leo for the next nine years. So we'll be so optimistic and we'll feel that we can actually achieve our goals. However, there is going to be a little bit of disruptive mu movement with Uranus and Pluto as we, we kind of clear out the last bits from that, you know, those the 18 years. So there'll be some ups and downs and we'll be getting ready for um, really getting going with our creative projects into the second quarter of 2019. So I, I think some people might feel that there are a little bit of delays in getting going but actually there's still that optimism as we have that excitement of Leo motivation, you know, new moon energy and so on. So we have a clear energy shift happening at the end of 2018 and, yes. and, 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 and kicking off in 2019. How can most of us cope with this energy okay. shift? Um, so when you mentioned you know, the clear energy shift 2018, 2019, um, it's not just only about the planets, it's also because of the, the number. So in numerology, this is a three year. So as soon as we entered into the 1st of January 2019, we have this three energy, which is inspiration, motivation, fun, self-expression, great for entertainers. You'll probably see a lot of positive um, stuff for the entertainment industry, artists, and so on. So to harness that, we, we really need to focus on our goals, um, communication, maybe even upgrading our skills. Companies might be changing their logos, really investing in their communication campaigns. Um, and we might see some surprising innovation in, in, in the communication areas. Now let's look at some of the highlights of 2019. How would you describe these highlights? Okay. And what can we look forward to? Okay. So the beginning of the year, I would say the first quarter, is probably all about teaching and learning. We kind of, some of the truths, the unpleasant truths that have emerged in the December, the end of 2018, are going to become a sort of the status quo. Okay, well, I know that now, I'm okay with that. I was upset about it then, but now this is how it is. So companies who might have suffered from a lot of corruption, they might have hidden it in the past, now they're gonna go, okay, we had that, what are we gonna do about it? We've got a plan going forward. So I feel there's a lot more positivity, a lot more acceptance and tolerance, and we've also got Jupiter as well, which is gonna help us through the little bit of disruption in the first quarter. And into the second quarter, I feel that's when it's really going to get interesting for us because we'll be focusing on our soul's purpose 
as individuals, our life purpose, what are we going to really do? Do we really want to be in that job? Is it really the thing we want to do before we die? Companies will get down to their core values as well, um, which is good and bad because it means the strong will survive. Mm -hmm. so there might be yes. a little bit of a fallout with the ones that kind of um, can't stick to their core values or be true and authentic. So there'll be a focus on that. And by the time we get into the fourth quarter, uh, we're probably going to see projects where people are actually living that truth, the authentic self, you know, the mantra of, you know, I, I'm going to be who I truly am, I'm going to make a difference. And we might see projects in, um, you know, uplifting children, saving the world, the planet, all sorts of good kind of work will come to the fore. Um, and by the end of the year, we should have greater clarity and even optimism for the next cycle of six to, to ten years. So now how can individuals or, and organizations harness um, or make the most of these energies in 2019? Okay, I, I think the first thing is to be aware that we are, do not live in isolation as beings. We are all connected to each other and we're also connected to our solar system, you know, and, and uh, within our country, within communities and so on. So awareness of the, how the, the, the energies affect us, but also how we as individuals can take advantage of that, but also sometimes we can be negative and not make the best of that. So in the beginning quarter, um, with the disruption, some of the negative barriers from 2018 will just suddenly fall away. So any kind of people in industry, poli political areas or families might just be out of your life suddenly. They were a big headache for maybe a really long time, even three years, 18 years. <laughs> suddenly they're just out. <laughs> and so you can then go, okay, I can now take advantage of this, this free path. Yeah. But sometimes we get stuck in our um, you know, mental habits patterns. Oh yes. And we go, oh no, no what we couldn't do before, we don't know if we can do it now. The comfort so, zone. Yes. So we should just take that leap, have faith, um, and be positive as well, um, and, and communicate, and also learn about, you know, uh, how other people are communicating, and that's going to bring in more tolerance, even more religious tolerance. I feel there's going to be, as, you know, truths um, have uh, come to the fore, people might be kind of shocked to know that sometimes the bad guy was actually the good guy, <laughs> and, and vice yes. versa. Yes. So I feel there's going to be more... Um, tolerance in a lot of areas by the end and, and we can actually look forward to that as well as individuals oh, yes, and embrace it and, and also get involved in community projects, creative projects, working in teams and um, be a bit out there. If you want to dress boldly or do something a bit crazy this year which you probably couldn't have got away with last <laughs> year, <laughs> if you do it, have some fun. Yes, so now can you summarize the path of energy for the year ahead? Okay, um, I'd say, in summary, it will be a little bit bumpy at the beginning, um, and it will it will ease out towards the end as as we head towards, and we we become even more, I would say, a little bit even stubborn as we head towards the end of the year, because we'll be so sure that we can achieve our goals by the 26th of December. It's also ending in Capricorn. <laughs> I think uh, it's also I think an eclipse in Capricorn, and that's a good way to end because we're beginning in the energies of Capricorn. So we feel we can make it happen. We might not be 100% sure because we never know until we've done it. But by December. By December we're going to go, wow, we, we actually did it and now we're going to carry on with the work that we've done in 2019 going forward. So um, I mean, there will be variations for individuals and um, there are other planetary movements. There will be some uh, retrogrades, Mercury retrograde, which when things slow down it will give us opportunity to think. Uh, where we need to be maybe a bit more careful with communication. Mercury is all about communication. Yes, exactly. Uh, but Venus does not go retrograde this year. So Venus is the planet of love. Okay. Okay, so I think it'll be a good year for, for unity in a lot of you know, group, group activities on you know, romantic level, rom relationships, love, marriages. Uh, if maybe you ho all the relationships never worked out before, all those retrogrades, <laughs> you're evaluating and then letting go, this might be a year in which it happens in a positive way for many people. Well, thank you very much. A time for clearing out yes. and a time for new beginnings. Yes. I mean, it will always be that way. We, every month we have, you know, the new moon and a full moon. So th those shifts happen little by little all year long with the major shifts. Um, but I also feel this is a year of enlightenment. And an important point I'd like to make is that South Africa is considered by um, energy workers as the solar plexus of the earth. So that's the core.
core in your in the body's energy so yeah. if you look at the earth as a body yeah. uh, south africa has all that energy about determination willpower positivity but yeah. it drives it's the center so we have the power in South Africa to have influence in a positive way. And I feel a lot of spiritual work and enlightenment and, and philosophical ideas are going to come out of South Africa. We've already That's seen it in... interesting. The, how did this notion come about that South Africa is the core of energy? Um, I'm not sure, but there's a la an author called, I think it's a Diana Cooper, I think her yes. name is. And, and she's written books about this analyzing geographies based on energy with lee lines and actually the earth itself. So she goes into it in quite quite a lot of detail. So we've already seen it, you know, in the past with Nelson Mandela, you know, and, and that has had a big influence over the globe. Uh, but we're not done yet. We're yes. going to bring it, begin a whole new cycle. And I also feel that sometimes, well, for the last three years, they've been quite difficult for a lot of people. And sometimes South Africans have got into a bit of a negative rut about yes. South Africa. But this, this, the next three months, this first quarter, the opportunity to release that negativity. And actually, I feel very positive going forward, and I feel more people will be positive. And the people that do return to South Africa will be the right people. Not necessarily in the millions, yeah. but we don't need millions. We but just we need, need the right innovations ones. innovations exactly. that's going to change the world. Definitely. And, 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 I, and I feel we can, so I feel, especially artists and singers and writers this year, start making that difference yes. because it, it is going to grow over the next... Um, decade. I like that you so spoke so well about um, reviving creativity and, uh, and, and you're appealing to the artists and, and, yes. and the community that is in, in the creative industry to actually go out there and produce and go out there and make things happen. And I think it can even be on um, a government le level, a municipality level, if you look at projects like Maboneng. Uh, I think that's a great inspiration. I think we're going to see more of that kind of thing, where areas are revived in an innovative way. Those kind of projects expand. Um, the marketing of those projects will be quite exciting. Uh, you know, where negatives are turned to positives. So um, it is not only necessarily on an individual level, you want to write that book, become that famous singer or something, but also within jobs that are traditionally boring, even utility companies, major corporations can harness that creativity. And if they were stuck in a rut, 18 years <laughs> <laughs> or for the last three uh, they can they can actually make those plans happen I think a hell of a lot of us have been stuck in a rut for 18 years <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I encourage people and companies to look back to the year 2000 what, 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 what seeds did they plant then and, 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 and what characterized those 18 years and to set their goals I mean it's typical for us to want to set goals at the beginning of a new year um, January is the number one month but especially this year at the beginning of a cycle, so uh, we can make it happen, so we can just forget about all the, the past things and, and learn from that. Very much. Thank you very much for these very positive predictions and, and also you know, very heartening for South Africa as well to and all, everyone who is watching because we want to have a positive message and also people are looking f to 2019 with a great deal of hope. So thank you very much for joining us You're and welcome. thank you for bringing thank us you. this reading. Well, you've heard that from the expert on energy. It's time for us to take a short break. We'll be back right after this.